What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel for another episode of Game Night with Retro. It's week six. Our week six game of the week is the Denver Broncos traveling to Houston to the to take on the Houston Oilers in the Astrodome. Right? So both the, the Denver comes in at a record of three and two. Houston has a record of three and one. So here's the division standings right now in these two divisions. The Oilers are trailing the Steelers by a game. The Steelers are 4-0, uh, Oilers are 3-1. And, and Denver, they're in a little bit worse shape. They're, they are uh, trailing the Chiefs and the Raiders because they have a, they're basically one game back because uh, with a record of 3-2. and two. So if Denver can win this game, they'll be back in the mix with those uh, two teams, right? Uh, depending on what they, you know, what they do this week, but even a, a win, but if they do win, they'll definitely be keeping pace there. So here we are. We're already at the uh, at the game. So let's hit the field. And let's get to it. Welcome to the Houston Astrodome. Denver Houston off should be a good one. I'm going to say definitely uh, Houston has the advantage here, not only because of their uh, talent that they have on the offensive level, but also, you know, to me, Denver was never a good team. On, on turf, you know, especially the old AstroTurf, they was more, they was better on grass, it seemed like, you know. So that's just my uh, two cents there. So Houston has advantage Please, and don't. playing at home today, not Houston AstroDome. <laughs> For two. Ready, down, put, 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 put. Ernest Given somehow breaks free up through the middle. Wow. Didn't expect that on third and long. Intercepted by Tyrone Braxton. Wow. Nice. Let's see if LA and that Denver offense can get anything going. Boy finds Vance Johnson. He's got a big game. He's still going down the 28. Ah, oh, that no, way throws a bad pass. That could have been a touchdown. I thought it was going to be. Bobby Humphrey gets the first down. Ready, down, put, put, put. Ah, that way to Mike Young. He's down to the three. Shotgun draw! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta show old Sammy Winder some love there, right? <laughs>
Moose got all day to gaze the field. The pass is batted down. The Denver defense is holding up so far. Intercepted by Tyrone Braxton, yeah! Oh, he scrambles, but he fumbles the ball, but it's out of bounds, okay. Tried to avoid the rush, but he got swiped. That sack was like a swipe. <laughs> Third of all. Michael Young. He's got the first down, barely. <laughs> There was nowhere to go. Well, we ran out of. He couldn't escape. Third and three. Put, 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 put. Sammy Winder makes a catch. He's got good yardage down to the 13. Defense are playing tough. They're, they're the De Denver's having to earn every earn every yard they're getting. Elway has under been under a lot of pressure today. Third and fourteen. Another third down. Michael Young drops the pass. He was wide open. He may not have got the first down anyway, but still. Ah, bring out the field goal unit. David Treadwell comes onto the field. It's up and good. Ten relieves ten to nothing. Houston's offense come to life and start making some plays. They got the ability, they just aren't executing. The talent is there, they're just not executing very good. Moon runs for a first down. Time's ticking down, just over a minute left in the half. Moon scrambles again, but he fires and he fights Lorenzo White. Gets in there. They can't get him. Ah. And just like that, the Oilers are back in the game. Touchdown to Vance Johnson. He was wide open I, just as I was getting ready to uh. Welcome to the Retro Sports Halftime Report. The other game we're looking at today is from Arrowhead Stadium. Kansas City Chiefs hosting the Buffalo Bills. First quarter, Christian Nicoya from 10 yards out. Runs it in off tackle, giving the Chiefs an early 7-0 lead.
Later in the second quarter, Steve DeBerg back to pass. He evades the rush. He steps out of the pocket, and he finds Emil Harry, and he goes in for the touchdown. Now giving the Chiefs a 14 to nothing lead at this point. At the end of the second quarter now, right before halftime, Steve DeBerg throws for the end zone for Stephon Page, and he's got the touchdown, putting the Chiefs up 21 to nothing, and that will be your halftime score. Back to Houston for your second half of Denver and Oilers game. Yeah, now, just as I was getting ready to throw the ball, a big 300-pounder got on me. Need some blocking, people. Bobby Humphrey with a good game down the sideline. Yeah. Johnson! <laughs> That's the play I was trying to do before half. Boy, we we did dodge a serious but we did dodge a bullet there, right? That could have been easily a touchdown. I thought it was gonna be a touchdown for them and they to have to lead it to half, but we dodged the bullet. Complete pass. Ready, down, put, 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 put. All out blitz, incomplete pass. Yeah. Denver's defense are playing tough today. They did give up. They did give up that one touchdown, but other than that, they're playing pretty good. Ricky DiTio trying to make something happen there on the punt return. Not much going on for him. Ready, down, put, 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 put. Al Smith with the sack of Elway. Ready, down, put, 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 put. Same play. Oh, the ball was across the goal line. Are you serious? Wow, they picked the play twice in a row. Yeah, look at, they're known to do that on you. And the Oilers still have life. They, they're hanging on, but they're... They got life, but they're hanging on. Tyron Brack's a good infield tackle. Tyro Braxton breaks up the pass. Nice. Ready, down, put, 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 put. Wyman Henderson breaks up the pass. Third and ten. All out blitz, Mark Morford with the shack. That's how the third quarter ends, and now we're fourth quarter begins with the Oilers going forward on fourth down. Ready, down, put, 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 put. Oh, what a play! Move the hill. Oh, what a fourth down, too, right? They're hanging in there. They're not going away. They're...
one point game. LA complete, Sammy Winder, he's cross midfield. Time for a game break. Let's head to our New York studios for an update on that Bills Chiefs game. Take it away, Ray. After falling 20 down, 28 to nothing, the Bills have battled back to come within three. Thurman Thomas takes it in from 17 yards out. This has been a wild and crazy game. We'll give you updates when we get them in. Back to you, Retro, in your game. All right, Ray, thanks for the update. Keep us posted. Ready, down, punt, 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 punt. Vance Johnson drops a pass. He was wide open. Ready, down, punt, punt. Gotta give him some help, people. LA fights Mark Jackson down on the 14. Ready, down, LA's taking this. I think he's taking responsibility for this game. He's taking this game on his shoulders. Michael Young, was a drive of sheer de determination, I believe. got to be thinking about the time now with only a minute 42 seconds left on the clock. They need some chunk plays. So far these plays here ain't doing it. Yeah they got the first down but that time's a ticking. Denver, Denver will let you have them plays all day. Yep, five, five yard gain. Yeah we'll let you have that. Oh, a tackle for the loss of five, third and ten. They run it to Lorenzo White and Carl Mecklenburg is there to make the tackle with others. Time for another game break. We got an update for you for that Bills Chiefs game to Arrowhead Stadium. Take it away, Ray. The Bills within three, but the Chiefs turn back to their workhorse running back Christian Decoya, the Nigerian nightmare. He rips off a 37-yard run. Two plays later, they give it to him again, and he takes it into the end zone for the knockout punch, putting the Chiefs up at this point after the PAT 35-25. to That will be your final score. Chiefs improved to 5-1 and one on the season. Bills fall to 1-5. and five. Back to you, Retro. Fourth and 11. Moon throws with pressure. Complete first down and more to Ernest Gibbons. Down on the 7-yard line. 12, 19, 18 seconds left. No way the no way they can win, but they're trying to just make it look look better on the on the score for the final stash. And they do.
24 to 23. It won a blowout, but it still goes down as a win. That's what matters the most. Kind of a different game. But I'm gonna say, uh, you know, I'm glad I like these games, these competitive games. You, you want for the game for for it to be the game of the week, you anticipate it's probably gonna be a competitive game, right? Not a blowout. People, a lot of people don't like want to see a blowout. We want to see a close competitive game where both teams are going back and forth making plays, and it comes down to the fourth quarter. Otherwise, if it's a blowout. A lot of people at one at some point when it gets too too far out of hand they change the channel right so yeah there you go Broncos Oilers game of the week didn't disappoint all right guys that's gonna do it for the tonight's video leave me your thoughts in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can but if this is your first time to the channel. Tap the subscribe button, then the bell next to it, ding ding, that way you're notified when I upload new videos. So until next time guys, keep it retro.